So what is a near rectilinear halo orbit? Well, let's just break down this term. Let's start with this part of it. Rectilinear. All that means is motion that is in a straight line. Rect means straight. Linear means line. Rectilinear is motion that is in a straight line. Motion along one dimension. Let's take the next word. Orbit. Well, a true rectilinear orbit would be an orbit that moves only in one dimension. An orbit that moves in a straight line. So let's say I'm standing on the moon here. Let's say I'm standing on the north pole of the moon. If I was to throw an object straight up and then let it come straight back down, it would bounce on the surface of the moon, of course, and that would be a straight line. We could call that an orbit, although we usually think of an orbit as going around an object. So let's, let's change the situation a little bit. Let's make the moon have a hole right in the middle. So there's a, a tube that runs right through the middle of the moon. Now, if I throw this object up, straight up, it'll go up this high, however high it goes, and it'll come back down and it'll go through the moon and back to the same height. Now, this is assuming there's no resistance. So this object would go up here and it would go back up there and it'll go back moving back and forth along this straight line. That could be called a rectilinear orbit. Near rectilinear. Near rectilinear would be if I was standing on the moon here and I threw this ball up in the air or something, an object, but I didn't throw it exactly straight up. And instead of coming straight back down, it would go like this and the the gravity of the moon would capture it and hold it near its surface and it would fling it back out and it would continue in this actually it would need some small course correction to get it into a nice elliptical orbit it would be an elliptical orbit but it would go slow out here and then through here it would move fast and then out here it would slow down again. This would be a near rectilinear orbit. Now the halo portion of a near rectilinear orbit would mean that, let's look down on this scene here. There's the North Pole of the moon. So let's say we took this and we just tipped this up like this. You'd be looking at it like this. So I'm looking down on the north pole of the moon and the plane of this orbit would remain constant even if the moon moved over here or over here or over here say if the moon was going around something like the earth this orbit would still be along this line there's the north pole north pole north pole the moon is moving well it actually moves around this way so here's the earth here's the moon and here's the body orbiting the moon Notice how the plane of this orbit isn't always facing the Earth. Sometimes it's kind of edge-on towards the Earth, and other times it's perpendicular to the direction of the Earth. Occasionally the object would be blocked from seeing the Earth by the Moon because the uh, orientation of this orbit would be the same. It's the halo effect that keeps it like this. We'll try one more model here, and with a halo orbit, it's always facing the Earth. So this orbit, which lies along this plane, would be always facing the Earth. And the nice thing about this halo orbit is that no matter where you are on this orbital path, you still get a clear view of the Earth. In other words, you can still maintain radio communications with the Earth. So that's what a near rectilinear halo orbit. Start with rectilinear, that's just straight line motion. Near rectilinear goes up and it doesn't come straight back down, but it kind of goes into this oblong uh, elliptical orbit, eccentric orbit, and with it coming very near to the moon at, at one point and going very far from the moon at another point. 
and then the halo component is what stops it from doing this. Stops it from going around like this, and instead it goes around like this. It goes around the moon so that the hate from the Earth's point of view, you can always, you're looking out at this and you can always see that halo around the moon because even as the moon goes around the Earth, the halo is always perpendicular to our line of sight. And, that, and also, so that allows radio waves to also be transmitted directly to the Earth. So you can always see, you can always see the Earth from this halo orbit, unlike a near rectilinear orbit without the halo, sometimes the, the Earth would be blocked by the moon. So that's what a near rectilinear halo orbit is. It's a very convenient orbit for use with the Artemis program, and it's something that's never actually been done before. So that's why they're sending up this uh, capstone uh, satellite about the size of a microwave oven and it's going to test out the dynamics of this halo orbit near rectilinear halo orbit it'll be interesting to see if it works because this is where they're going to be placing a lot of the satellites and support hardware for the upcoming artemis moon missions so stay tuned for more about that thank you for watching please like and subscribe